Hey everybody, welcome back to another Star Trek Online Let's Play. Uh, so starting today, Agents of Yesterday is now over, and we're going to start with the regular in, uh, missions until they're all done. <laughs> uh, so, as you can see, we started off on my ship, uh, where we left off last time. Um, we're going to go down to Earth Space Dock, speak to uh, the people I need to speak to, and uh, visit the tailor and change my appearance, and uh, maybe even do a message a message I don't know what I'm talking about maybe even do a, miss a mission that's what I was trying to say yeah let's do a mission <laughs> all right uh, yeah so you know, wow oh wait a minute I just noticed that even Tomet's in the ground <sighs> it's so weird anyways let's head to the transport room Having some problems with my keyboard here. Sorry, guys. One second. There we go. All right. I realize I don't have to do this, but hey, it's it's fun. Let's visit engineering. So here's engineering. Pretty cool. All right. Do do do. Running around. Oh, here's sick bay. Another person sitting in the ground. They really gotta fix this. This is a pretty dark sick bay. This is ridiculous. Look at this. He's sitting in the ground. What's going on with this? All you crew members are like, you know, they're all like, I don't know. They're all grounded. <laughs> okay, no pun intended. But uh, I like that. Uh, we'll find the uh, transporter room sooner or later. Hey, there's some man and dude sitting on the table. Ooh, what's this? Um, doesn't really make much sense. He's the chef, apparently. More people sitting in the ground. All right, we'll find the transporter room eventually. I'm right back. Oh, here's the shuttle bay. Very nice. Engineering lab. There's the phaser range. Starting to think I don't have a transporter room. There's engineering again. Hmm. Okay, one more quick lap. Oh, it seems funny through the door here. There's a transporter room. I missed it. Alright. Alrighty. There we go. Okay, Anson. You miss out. All right, so here we are in the uh, tailor. It's probably gonna do like a, a quick speedy montage here because no one really wants to see me put on a new uniform. Let's do to the uh, tailor who happens to be Cardassian. Go figure. Welcome to my shop, Lieutenant Commander. That's a fine replica uniform you have there. Late 23rd century, yes? My compliments to your replicator. Now, if you'd like to update this to something from this century, have a look around and let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Thank you. All right. Let's do this. Two hours later. Okay, so I've got my new 25th century Starfleet uniform on. There we go. Yep. Turn this around. Here we go. Put some light on it. Alright. And for some reason, it wouldn't let me put on the com, uh, or not the com badge, it's, it's a patch in the 23rd century. But they wouldn't let me put on my, my patch 
uh, from my previous uniform for some strange reason. So I opted for the next best thing, which is the Enterprise patch, but I went with the Temporal Agent uh, insignia on it. All right. Uh, yeah, so this is the tailor. Before we do anything else, I'm going to ignore everything it's telling me to do, and I'm going to show you around. Hey, look, somebody else's hair is messing up. That is so weird. There's something going on with my graphics. Anyways, uh, so that over here is the shuttle bay. This here is the exchange where you can put items up for sale and items that you want to buy from other players. All happen in here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Over here is the uh, Admiral's office. Here is the transporter, as it says here. Infirmary is over here. There's a mezzanine level up there. Uh, where is that? There it is, right up there. And, uh, oh, yes, and then there's a nightclub called Club 47, which is in here. This is where you can put your items away if you've got too much. I've got nothing in here, but I have another account where I do have some stuff in here. Ooh, energy credits. I can't remember why I put this here, but I'm taking them. All right. <laughs> and over here, oh, somebody opted to stick with their uniform. Oh, ew, it's the JJ Prize uniform. Never mind. Um, yeah, this is where you purchase new ships and equip your and change your ships uh, from the one that you're currently using, uh, which we'll be doing uh, soon. Uh, these blue lights that you're seeing all around shouldn't be happening. There is definitely something weird going on with my uh, my graphics right now. All right, let's go visit the admiral. Oh, wait a minute. No, we're going to speak to Temporal Agent Philip Cray first. Welcome to the 25th century, Lieutenant Commander. We've been expecting you. Your new cover identity is in place, and Admiral Quinn's expecting you in the office behind me. We'll report to him for your orders. Remember, do not tell anyone about your status as a Temporal Agent. Your goal is to observe and correct not to interfere. Understood. Thanks. A few moments later. Huh, no voiceover. Okay. Ah, Lieutenant Commander Cooper. <laughs> I keep on forgetting I chose that name. Uh, come in. I've been expecting you. I've recommended you for a command position on board a ship of the line. There are several fine ships available for an officer of your caliber, Lieutenant Commander. Head to the shipyard to select your new ship, then return to me for your assignment. Lieutenant Commander. So I can go for a constitution refit. I can go with an escort. Or I can go with a science vessel. Well, since my rank will only allow me to use any of these ships, I'm actually a very big fan of um, of escort ships in this game. And I did pick the tactical uh, job uh, when I started this character. So we are going for this ship. Probably gonna modify it a bit, but all right. So what I like to do, I like to, I like to keep the uh, the registry. Uh, as close to the original as possible. I don't think we can have the same names, uh, but we're going to try. So it's NCC 1590. 
1590. Let's see if they let us use the same one. That's interesting. It let me choose total random reviews on this ship. It wouldn't let me do it on this ship. And that's okay. We'll go for this shorter version of my TR. Reviews. I can live with that. Okay. Ready that starship. And this one I'm going to stick in dry dock because we're probably never going to use this ship again. Alright, now we're going to talk to this dude to customize my ship. One eternity later. Yeah, okay. Alright. Yeah, this is TR Reviews. Alright, now we need to speak with Admiral Quinn again. I've received a report there is a Bolian freighter that is overdue arriving at Earth's space dock. It may need assistance. Please talk to Malcolm Sissel in the shipyard. He will have more information about the missing vessel than I do. Okay. Yeah, we are all of this. I don't know why he told me to go talk to this guy in the shipyard when it clearly says to go do this. <laughs> but when you're ready to return to your ship, click the beam to ship button in the upper left corner of your mini map. No crap. Okay. Well, let's get out of here. So we're gonna do this properly. I'm gonna run up to the transporter room. Because I'm a nerd that way. But we're not beaming down to start for the game. <laughs> oh yeah, so because I made a... Uh, 23rd century character, his transport animation will always be the 23rd century transporter with the computer. To those of you that may be uh, wondering. Alright, so there's Earth Space Dock now. Got pretty big. Yeah, we're in the 25th century. There's our new ship. All right, let me just set up some stuff before we go. A few moments later. All right, let's go do this. So this is gonna give us a transwarp option. Taking heavy fire, dropping out of 
warp near your coordinates. Need immediate evacuation and assistance. Please help us. To Matt, keep tracking that distress signal. Sir, sensors are picking up several light attack craft on an intercept course. We will need to deal with them before we can render aid to the SS Azura. Full power to shields, helm, take us in range. I'm skipping the gas, I don't really need it. That's more so for crafting, which I don't really do. Captain, I'm detecting elevated radiation levels on the Azura. I've alerted the transporter chief to the situation. She can brief you before you beam over to the Azura. Away team, report to the transporter room. Oh, that's annoying. This isn't my transporter room. I use the uh, TOS interior. Words. Captain, I'm concerned about the radiation on the Azura. She might have some damage to the warp core, but our sensors can't pick up enough to determine exactly what you'll find over there. I'm sure I can send you and the white team to the ship safely, but getting you back might be a problem until the Azura's critical damage is repaired. Step on the transporter pad when you're ready to go, and be careful, sir. Try to keep a lock on us and prepare to transport survivors. Right. So I'm picking up multiple life signs. Some of them are the Azur's captains and crew, but the other, sorry, but the rest are Orion. Plasma leaks are blocking our path to the survivors. We will need to use the consoles to use, a, to safely vent the plasma. Rescuing survivors are top priority. Sorry guys, I am not reading correctly today. Is there anything I need to pick up? Ooh, what's in here? I will take that. Remember is critically injured, and you do not have the training needed to assist them. Ah, oh, that's right. If I were, a, if I were a science officer, I'd be able to help. Unfortunately, I can't do anything for this person. 
Because I'm a temporal agent, there should be items uh, lying around that only temporal agents can pick up. So I am keeping my eyes open for that. Just tell us if there's anything on this mission. Okay, the Klingon episodes here. Let's say Temporal probes. Doesn't say that here. And That is a bright warp core. Scanning the warp core, Captain. Catastrophic failure of antimatter containment warp core breach is imminent. Captain, unless the breach is contained, the Azura will be destroyed. We hit an Orion ambush on our way to K7. We lost our weapons almost immediately, and then we took a direct hit near engineering. Our warp engine's magnetic antimatter containment field failed. We have no choice but to drop shields and use the power to try to stabilize the containment field. As soon as the shields were down, Orions boarded the ship! I'll never let those green pirates have the Azura. Please, take my crew to safety. I'll keep trying to stabilize the warp core. If I'm lucky, I can buy you some time. I'll help your crew. something I can do. When you were in the academy, you studied mission reports from the USS Archer. In one instance, crew on the Archer reconfigured a plasma conduit and used it to disable a group of Klingons that boarded the vessel. You might be able to do something similar. Sure.
Go to the transporter and we'll be right behind you. Away team to the TR reviews. Chief, are you ready for transport? The Azura's radiation levels are returning to normal. The survivors of the Azura crew are on the transporter pad. We don't have much time. Get these people off the ship now. We have them, sir. Sensors detect more Orion ships on the way, Captain. We need you back on the bridge. Have an incoming message from the Orions, putting it on screen. Leave now if you know what's good for you, Starfleet. We're taking this ship, her crew, and her cargo. The Azura and her crew are under Starfleet protection. Captain, we need to get within range and try to get the transporter locked on Captain Broad. We'll save Captain Broad. Attempting to get a transporter locked on Captain Broad. Sir, please in containment. We have her, Captain. Captain Broad is safely aboard, sir, and just in time. We got her just before the ship exploded. Captain Broad has requested that we take her and her crew to sector space. Starfleet will get them home from there. She said she would be happy to speak to you if you wish. I'll speak with the captain. You saved my crew. I'll tell you whatever I can. The Azura was a transport ship, best in the quadrant. Mostly I hauled medical supplies or farming equipment, but I had room in the cargo bays for a little of everything. I have one customer who is just crazy for Tranya. I don't save the galaxy on a regular basis like you Starfleet types do, but hauling cargo is a good way to make a living. I'm helping people in my own way. You saved my crew. All right, let's go Starfleet. Well done. You saved that crew just in time. Thank you. Congratulations, <laughs> Commander. Ooh, 
Hmm, a duty officer's unlocked. Great. Hello, Lieutenant Commander. I've heard of your recent accomplishments. I'd like to congratulate you. You're exactly the sort of star Captain Starfleet needs as an example of for young officers here at the Academy. Please join me here on Earth to discuss some promising new officers. I look forward to speaking with you in person. All right. Let's visit the bridge here. Huh. That's interesting. I'm guessing the bridge of my other ship um, is buggy because these guys are sitting on their chairs just fine, uh, I think. Uh, he's kind of going through it a little bit, but not too much. Everyone else is uh, sitting just fine. Oh well. Alright, let's have a seat. Alright, well that was a fun time. Um, it wasn't as action-packed as past missions, but this is the technically the tutorial first run mission for people playing STO for the first time. So it's a little eh. Um, well, it's one of the missions. The tutorial mission when you start off in Starfleet Academy from the get-go, that's actually a lot of fun, and we might do a video on that one day. But for now, this is what we're doing. Anyways, um, it was fun. It gets you interested. It gets you um, familiar with the game and how to play and all that stuff if you're starting from this point. And uh, there is some booms. Booms are always good. Uh, so I'm going to give this one a 3 out of 5. It wasn't super great, but it wasn't bad either. Also, I've played this mission I don't know how many times <laughs> uh, since I have played this game before. I've got a, a max level character, several max level characters um, that we may see from time to time. Uh, but it was, it was still okay. 3 out of 5. Thanks so much for watching guys, uh, if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up, if you didn't really like it you can give it a thumbs down, please don't forget to subscribe, also don't forget to click on that bell notification button so you'll be notified whenever I upload anything new, and uh, you know, please don't hesitate to check out my other content. Thanks once again guys, see you next time, live long and prosper.